Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay tuturo ko sa inyo ang work problems. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay tuturo ko naman sa inyo yung isang type ng word problem sa algebra which is yung work problems. So, dito sa work problems, gagamitin natin yung formula na work is equal to rate times time. So, dito sa work, yung rate, yung nagdidictate kung gaano kabilis ginagawa ng isang tao yung isang job. Yung part ng job na nagagawa niya per unit of time. For example, if Jason can finish a job in 5 hours, then he can do 1 fifth of the job per hour. So, Natatapos din ni Jason yung isang job in 5 hours. Therefore, yung buong job na yon, which is 1, ay nagagawa niya sa loob ng 5 hours. So, therefore, 1 fifth of the job per hour. Nung rate nung paggawa ng job ni Jason. Okay? Sa so, laging ganun lang, i-reciprocal mo lang yung number of hours kung kailan natatapos ng isang tao yung job. Then, that will be the rate of the work of that person. And then, if Jason works for 4 hours, the work he has done is 1 fifth times 4 is equal to 4 fifths of the job. So, di ba yun nga yung formula natin, rate times time. So, yung nakuha natin rate na 1, the 1 over 5 or 1 fifth of the job per hour, imumultiply natin yun kung ilang oras nagtrabaho yung tao or depende sa unit of time. So, since sabi ito, 4 hours daw nag-work si Jason, therefore, yung work niya is compute kapag minultiply natin yung rate niya na 1 over 5 sa number of hours na nag-work siya, which is 4. So, 1 fifth times 4 is 4 fifth. So, 4 fifth of the job is done. So, mapapansin nyo kapag ginawa nyo yung job ng buong 5 hours, therefore, natapos nga na yung job. Kasi 1 fifth times 5 is 1. So, therefore, whole job na yung nagawa niya. Okay? So, ito rin yung formula at concept na i-apply natin kapag magsasolve tayo ng work problem sa algebra. So, kadalasan tinatanong is, how many hours can a person do the job alone? Or, how many hours can two persons do the job together given that they have their own respective time to do the job alone and so on. Okay? So, mag-solve tayo example para ma-illustrate natin. So, for the first one, we have Jay can build a doghouse by himself in 3 days. Mark can build the same doghouse in 6 days. How long would it take them if they work together? Okay, so, kapag nag-solve tayo ng work problem, gawa tayo ng table. So, meron tayong formula na rate times time equals work. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ng column for rate, time, at work. So, dito sa row, isusulat natin kung sino yung mga taong involved. So, diba si J? So, meron tayong row for J at si Mark. So, row for Mark. So, sabi, J can build a doghouse by himself in 3 days. So, therefore, ito yung rate ni J. So, paano ulit hanapin yung rate? Reciprocal mo lang yung number of days na matatapos nga yung work, right? So, therefore, ang rate ni J is 1 over 3. One third of the job per day. Tapos, si Mark, sabi, can build the same doghouse in 6 days. So, therefore, ano yung rate ni Mark? 1 over 6 naman. Now, ang tanong, how long would it take them if they work together? So, yung unknown is time. So, dapat paro sila ng time na iwer work Kasi mag-work sila together para daw matapos nila yung work. So, therefore, unknown yung time natin. Let x yon Para silang x. So, yung formula natin for work is, therefore, for j, one-third x, right? Kasi mumultiply natin. Tapos si Mark, one-six x. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung value ng x, diba dapat mag-work sila together. So, therefore, isa-sum up natin yung work nila together. At para matapos yung job, dapat equal to sa 1. So, dapat laging yung total ng work ng dalawang tao is 1. Kasi whole job, ba Okay? So, therefore, ito na yung equation natin. Solve na lang natin for x. So, dahil may denominator tayo na 3 at 6, multiply natin both sides of the equation by the LCD. Anong LCD ng 3 at 6? 6, right? So, therefore, distribute. We have 6 times 1 third x is cancel si 3. 2x na lang plus Distribute, 6 times 1, 6x six is cancel si 6, x na lang, equals, distribute sa 1, si 6, we have 6. So, therefore, 2x plus x is 3x equals 6. 
divide both sides by 3, we have x is equal to 6 divided by 3 or 2. So, therefore, the answer is 2 hours. So, pag nag-work sila together, matatapos nila yung work in 2 hours. Okay? Next, we have Richard can type a committee report in 5 hours. Nelson, who is a slower typist, help Richard and together they finish the report in 3 hours. How long would it take Nelson had he worked alone? Okay, so this time, meron daw tayong two involved persons, si Richard at si Nelson. So, gumawa ako ng rofer Richard at Nelson. And then, same lang din dun sa number one, meron tayong column for rate and then time at work. So, sabi si Richard daw can type a committee report in 5 hours. So, fill up natin yung rate ni Richard. Ah, since 5 hours nga raw, natatapos i-type yung committee report, ang rate niya is reciprocal ng 5 hours. So, 1 over 5. So, 1 fifth of the job per hour. Tapos, si Nelson Dao, who is a slower typist, help Richard and together they finish the report in 3 hours. So, tumulong daw si Richard, which is a slower typist than Richard. And then, natapos daw nila yung work together for 3 hours. So, ano yung 3 hours na yun? So, therefore, yun yung time nila together na nag-work, right? So, therefore, dito natin ilalagay yun sa time. So, 3 si Richard, then 3 din si Nelson. So, how long would it take Nelson had he worked alone? So, ang tanong is, gano'n raw yung rate ni Nelson work alone? So, therefore, parang ano natin is yung X for the time ni Nelson kapag nag-work siya alone kung gano'n yung matatapos yung pagtatype ng committee report. So, therefore, kung ito yung number of hours niya to finish the work the job alone, ano yung rate niya? Reciprocal lang din ito. So, therefore, under sa rate ni Nelson is 1 over X. Okay. So, therefore, yung work ni Richard is multiply lang natin itong 1 fifth tsaka 3, we have 3 fifths. And then itong 1 over x sa 3, we have 3 over x. Okay, so, ang equation din natin uli, isasum up natin yung work nila together. So, you have 3 fifths plus 3 over x equal dapat lagi sa 1 whole job. So, equal siya sa 1. So, ngayon, masasub natin ngayon yung x using this equation. So, dahil meron tayong denominator na 5 at x, multiply muna natin itong equation sa LCD nila, which is 5x, right? So, distribute si 5x. So, 5x times 3 fifths is cancel si 5, magiging 3x, plus distribute si 5x sa 3 over x, cancel naman si x, magiging 5 times 3 na lang, or 15. Equals, 5x distribute sa 1 is just 5x. So, ngayon, solve natin for x. So, transpose ko nila dito sa right si 3x magiging magiging 15 is equal to 5x minus 3x. So, we have 15 is equal to 5x minus 3x is 2x. Divide both sides by 2 to solve for x, we have x is equal to 15 over 2 or 7.5. The unit is r's. Okay? So, 7.5 hours. So, therefore, ito yung time ni Nelson to finish the job alone. 7.5 hours. Okay? Next, we have the San Beda High School swimming pool has two inlet pipes. One pipe can fill the pool in 6 hours. The other can fill it in 3 hours. The pool has one outlet pipe that can empty the pool in 4 hours. One day when filling the pool, after it was cleaned, the outlet pipe was left open by mistake. How long did it take to fill the pool? Okay, so sa San Beda High School Swimming Pool daw, meron tayong dalawang inlet pipes na nafe-fill daw yung pool, yung isa in 6 hours, tapos yung isa in 3 hours. Tapos meron ding outlet pipe na nag empty ng pool in 4 hours. So one day daw, after maklin yung pool is... Na-open both yung dalawang inlet pipe saka yung outlet pipe by mistake. Kasi dapat inlet pipe lang kasi ipifill nila yung pool. So, how long did it take to fill the pool? Okay, so sige. Fill up an uli natin itong table. So, meron tayong row for inlet pipe 1, inlet pipe 2, tsaka outlet pipe. Tapos, rate time is time equals work then So, let's say sa inlet pipe 1, 6 hours lang yung nafe-fill yung pool. So, ano yung rate niya? 1, 6, right? Tapos, si inlet pipe 2, 3 hours naman. So, anong rate niya? 1 over 3. And then, ano yung rate naman ng pag e empty ni outlet? 4 hours daw. So, therefore, ang rate niya is 1 fourth. So, ang tanong, how long did it take to fill the pool? So, yung time nilang tatlo, di ba open silang tatlo, gano'n raw kabilis mapifill yung pool 
given na open yung tatlong to. So, therefore, let's say unknown time x yon Okay? So, para-paro silang may unknown time x. So, yung rate ng work ng bawat pipe is, si inlet pipe 1 is x over 6 kasi 1 6 times x, right? Si inlet pipe 2 is x over 3 kasi 1 third times x. Si outlet pipe naman is x over 4 kasi 1 fourth x. So, ano ngayon yung magiging equation natin? So, isasum up natin itong tatlong work nung inlet pipe tsaka outlet pipe. Kaso, itong outlet pipe, isisusubtract natin. Hindi natin i-add kasi siya yung nag empty right? So, itong dalawang inlet pipe 1 tsaka inlet pipe 2, i-add natin yung work nila. So, therefore, we have x over 6 plus x over 3 for the sum nung work nung inlet pipes 1 at 2 then minus yung work nung outlet pipe na x over 3. Kasi na empty nga yung full, right? And dapat equal sa 1 whole job, so equal to 1. Okay, so pwede na ngayon natin masolve itong equation for x. So, makapansin nyo, meron tayong denominator na 6, 3, at 4. Multiply muna natin yung equation by the LCD. Anong LCD ng 6, 3, at 4? Obviously, 12. Right? So, distribute natin si 12. We have 12 times x over 6 is, cancel si 6, matitira is 2. We have 2x. Plus, 12 times x over 3, so cancel si 3, matitira is 4, so we have 4x. Then, 12 times x over 4, cancel si 4, matitira is 3, so we have negative 3x. Equals, distribute din si 12 sa 1, we have 12. So, we have 2x plus 4x minus 3x is what? 6x minus 3x or 3x equals 12. Then, divide both sides by 3 to solve for x. We have x is equal to 12 divided by 3 or 4. The unit is r. So, therefore, mafifill yung pool for 4 hours. Assuming na open yung lahat ng pipes na to. Okay? Next, we have Mr. Santos takes 8 hours to paint his room. After working for 1 hour, he calls in a painter to help him. They finish the job working together in 3 more hours. How long would the whole job be finished by the painter if he had worked alone? Okay, so meron ulit tayong table. Rate time is time equals work. And then, meron na kong raw for Mr. Santos tsaka yung painter. So sabi si Mr. Santos daw takes 8 hours to paint his room. So therefore, ano yung rate ni Mr. Santos kung 8 hours nga natatapos yung pagpaint ng room? Reciprocal ng 8 which is 1 over 8, right? Tapos, after working daw for 1 hour, he calls in a painter to help him and then they finish the job working together in 3 more hours. So, after nga raw mag-work na ng 1 hour, tinawag niya yung isang painter para tumulong sa kanya, natapos nila yung work in 3 more hours pa raw. So, ngayon, kung ipifill natin yung time ni Mr. Santos, Ilan yung total time niya kasi nakapag-work na siya for 1 hour. Tapos 3 more hours pa working together with the painter. Total of 4. Tapos yung time naman nung painter is 3 hours lang kasi 3 more hours lang daw nila natapos eh. So therefore, yung time ni painter is 3. Ang tanong is how long would the whole job be finished by the painter if he had worked alone? So parang lang din ito sa example number 2. Ano natin yung rate nung painter had the work alone? So let's say x yung number of hours na mapifinish nung painter yung job if he worked alone. So, therefore, ano yung rate niya? Kasi proka lang ni x, which is 1 over x, right? So, therefore, ang work ni Mr. Santos is 1 8 times 4 or 4 over 8 or 1 half, right? And then, yung rate ng painter is 3 times 1 over x or 3 over x. So, yung equation ule is isasum up natin yung work nilang dalawa 1 half plus 3 over x dapat equal sa whole job na 1. Then, solve natin itong equation for x. So, since meron tayong denominators na 2 at x, multiply natin sa LCD nila both sides of the equation, which is 2x. So, distribute 2x times 1 half is cancel si 2. We have x plus 2x times 3 over x cancel si x. We have 2 times 3 or x equals 2x times 1 is 2x. Okay, so therefore, transpose ko na lang dito sa x. We have 6 is equal to 2x minus x. So therefore, 6 is equal to x. So therefore, yung time pala ng painter to do the job alone is 6. 6 hours. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video work problem. So, practice lang kayo mag-sub ng this type of worded problems in algebra para ma-master nyo ito. Okay? 
So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.